Hi there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You can find all the work that I do over on Instagram under Robin underscore Norgren or at UBU, the number four for life. I wanted to read a devotion from Eugene Patterson's book, Solo. God will never let you down. 1 Corinthians 10, 12, 13. Don't be so naive and self-confident. You're not exempt. You could fall flat on your face as easily as anyone else. Forget about self-confidence. It's useless. Cultivate God confidence. No test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. All you need to remember is that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit. He'll always be there to help you come through it. Do the tests and temptations in front of you feel completely overwhelming? Shameful? Have you ever felt like you are the only one who is struggling with something? Or the only one engaged in a monumental task? The idea that you are alone is exactly what the enemy wants. It inflates your pride by skewing your sense of justice, or it increases your shame, making you unwilling to seek help. There is no new and special sin or unique struggle. At the core, evil is simply evil from generation to generation. But... God does not allow you to be put in a place where it is impossible to receive help. Has he helped you in the past? How much more will he help you now? Praise God for the trials and tests, great and small, that he has led you through in the past and saved you from. Thank him for his unfailing rescue. Be honest with God about the temptations that feel beyond you that seem past what you are capable of handling. Ask for the path of escape toward him and righteousness. When we are tempted, the first thing to become skewed is our understanding of God and our understanding of ourselves. Journal about God confidence. Trust in the one who is faithful to deliver you.